All right, hey guys, it is Chris here again with another video, and in this video today, we're going to be talking about the update and the status of the Sears and Roebuck space, the former Sears and Roebuck space at the Paramus Park Mall in Paramus, New Jersey. Now, as you guys know, about two months ago, me and my friend Ian went to go document Sears and Roebuck's very last night of, op of its 43-year operation on Friday, February 2nd, 2018. As you know, the documentary was pretty much successful. Until, of course, we were uh, asked to stop recording by an employee as we did not have permission from the store manager to continue to take pictures in the store, which again, with Sears and Roebuck's stupid policy is you have to call Sears Holdings to get permission to record in the store, which in my opinion is a very stupid policy that they have, but we do have to respect their wishes as they are still a company in business. Anyways, what this video is about today is about... Um, the new um, updates about the new plans and stuff. I know I really I was debating on making this video, but I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of an update of what the status is of the, of, of what's going to happen. So, pretty much. Uh, so I'm going to go over this article really quickly. Uh, Paramus Park Mall is continuing to face zoning officials. Here's the second round of testimony. Okay, blah 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 blah. Stu Leonard's I'm trying to find something here. If approved, so pretty much if approved, this if this whole thing. So right now, this thing is still in the rounds of testimonies, meaning it's not fully approved. Meaning construction it will not begin until it's all approved and all ready to go. Um, but if it's approved, and obviously I think it will be, um, it's going to be the biggest makeover the mall has seen since about 2003 when they renovated the mall as well. So that would be a very exciting for this mall too, as as it would give a new reason to the mall and of course new life to the mall. Um, so pretty much the the movie theater has not been uh, named yet. I think it is going to be a Regal, but I'm not 100% sure. So the mall is hoping for alcoholic beverages to be sold at the new 13th screen theater, which could be interesting that if, if Regal were to get into that business, but I, I don't know if Regal does something like that. Um, obviously, several Stu Leonard's representatives were, at, were presented at the zoning board, uh, uh, last Thursday night, obviously, I don't know how they were there with the whole storm and everything, but, um, and then, you know, they're talking about, we're very, you know, we're, we are here because of the changing of Sears. Um, so they, they said this and that grocery store to a Stu Leonard's grocery store and movie theater. Okay. So yeah, they, they were talking about, you know, how Stu Leonard's is going to be on the ground floor and partially on the second floor. And then the movie theater is going to be completely on the second floor. And also there is a number of changes, which also unfortunately included the closing of the Hallmark uh, store, which they were actually going to relocate. However, the owners did retire from that store. So that store is no longer at the mall. So where that Hallmark is standing right next to Sears will most likely have its roof lifted to make way for a brand new escalator and elevator entrance. Now, guys, don't get your hopes up. Uh, for any new type of elevator, it's most likely going to be a 330A. I don't know what the theater is, but if it is going to be Regal, then it's definitely going to be a 330A. So do not get your hopes up for any any new Schindler MRLs. So that's just, I'm just giving a heads up because I know, because I, honestly, originally I thought, I really thought David Musters they were going to put an MRL, but instead they put a freaking hydraulic. I'm kind of a little bit pissed off about that, but that's not what this video is about. Um, So partially on the second floor. I think it's completely on the second floor. So there are a number of changes. Guys, sorry if I'm not really talking much, but I want to get to some interesting stuff. Include the sky changes. Alterations to the story movie theater interests exterior elevation and signage, obviously. So more stuff about the building. Uh outdoor outdoor sales are not permitted in the zone where the mall is located, but still Leonard. So I guess they would allow outside displays, but I don't think uh, outdoor sales weren't permitted in the mall zone. So I guess they'll give Stu Leonard's an exception. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure about that yet. Uh, this is part. This is the. This is about the architecture of how they're gonna convert that old Sears space that me and Ian, that me and my friend Ian filmed into Stu Leonard's and uh, AMC. You guys can actually. I'm gonna actually put the the link of the both both of our videos in the description below. You guys can both check those out. So this is this is just about architecture. Okay, so this this right here is the most important part about the video. So as you guys know, Stu Leonard's currently has a wine and spirits store right next to Finitely Investments. Now, originally, my friend thought that okay, they're going to keep the Stu Leonard's uh, wines here, 
and uh, they weren't going to move it. Well, unfortunately, that statement is now, right as 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 of now, unaccurate. As Stu Leonard's wines, wine and spe- wine and spirits of premise will be relocating from its current space on New Jersey State Route 17 North to the Pramus Park Mall in the brand new Stu Leonard's going into the former Sears and Roebuck space. Um, so, honestly, I'm not surprised. I do think that they did want to consolidate their operations to just one store instead of having the wine and spirits down the road, so that is smart. Um, also, there's been some, I mean, I don't know if this is going to be true or not, um, Stu Leonard's may be changing the name of Sears Drive, since Sears is no longer at the mall. Um, they may or may not be changing this to Stu Leonard's Drive. I don't know. This is just a rumor. Um, it's just something I wanted to put out there. I don't know if it's going to be true or not, but they may, because it is their first New Jersey location, so they may change uh, Sears Drive to uh, Stu Leonard's Drive. So that would be interesting if that ever happened. But they didn't do it for ANS, so... Because obviously up here it's it's uh, A and S Drive, so they may they may or may not change this uh, street or or, no, or whatnot. I, I I don't know yet. Um, but anyways, getting back to the article. So the news through the be the seventh should be the seventh in the tri-state area, the first location in New Jersey. The chain already has three grocery stores in Connecticut and three in New York. It's sixth and newest store in East Meadow, New York, which is located on Long Island. Uh, the company also names nine. There's uh, two Stu Leonard's wineries. Uh, there's one on Route 17 and one in Clifton. And obviously this right here is a um, planning board. And as you can see, if I can zoom in here, this part of the store right here is most likely go- is most likely going to be the movie theater. So it doesn't it doesn't look like that they're going to have any uh, farm animals at this location. But I I don't know. Probably not because it is a mall and typically. Uh, animals in a mall don't go together. It's just not a good combination. So obviously we know about the eight, eight, the 800,000 square feet space would employ about 300 full-time and part-time employees. You know, so they're, yeah, they're all excited. Ooh, yeah, hooray. And then around Christmas time. So the movie theater, let's, let's, uh, let's, we've seen a lot about Stu Leonard. So let's talk about, let's talk about the movie theater. So, of course, one of the most anticipated changes to the vacant Sears and Roebuck space is the new movie theater that would be housed on the second floor. So, pretty much, you guys, remember I made a video about a couple of years ago about Regal Cinemas coming to uh, the west side of the Primus Park Mall connecting to the food court. And there's plenty of videos of me saying Regal Cinemas is coming soon to the Primus Park Mall. And I've made plenty of videos on that. But now, Primus Park is finally, after years and years of proposals, is finally getting a movie theater. So... That should be exciting. Um, again, I just don't know how it's going to work because there's already a movie theater at Westfield Garden State Plaza, a 16-screen multiplex, and then a dine-in movie theater at the Shops of Riverside. So I just don't know how that's going to work, but I guess there is a market for it in the town of Paramus. Prominent general manager of Paramus Park Previews. So the, the movie theater is going to seat about 1,500 guests. So it actually this actually could reduce the amount of guests at AMC Garden State 16, which also could be good. But again, I don't know what the ticket prices are. I really hope they're not expensive because I would actually like to try out this movie theater. And as you guys know, I, I never tried out the AMC at the Shops of Riverside because uh, it was it was uh, very expensive to try it out for three people. It's like $50 or something. Rip off. I never tried it. I toured one of the theaters. It was It looked only okay. Um, so, so the next um, adjustment meeting will be on March 2nd. So that's pretty much it here. Um, so right now we do know that it is going to happen. I mean, I, I think it is most likely going to happen. There just has to be some more meetings to take place. So we can expect Stu Leonard's to probably open up sometime in the winter of 2018, but it may it might be 2019 depending on what time, um, depending on when they start the construction of the store. But it is very exciting to see that Sears will be converted into a supermarket and movie theater. And it will be open on a Sunday, so it'll give Primus Park some life to the mall. So that'll be good, too. It'll bring in some traffic to that mall, which I think is well needed since nobody really goes to Primus Park on a Sunday, obviously due to the Bergen County Blue Laws. So this will be good for the mall. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, sorry if it was long. I just wanted to go through like the in-depth of this article that NorthJersey.com released. Uh, I just wanted to go through it very quickly for you guys, and uh, thank you again for watching. Stay tuned for more updates and uh, about this this space, and uh, that's it.